And what's good, everybody? I'm Alex Knight, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. 13 episodes. This has been going on for a long while for me to get to 13 episodes. Um, so we are back. We are currently in Lavender Town. And right now, um... We've just got off on a very important event, so if you guys do not know what that event is, go back to the previous episode, episode 12, to find out what that big event was. Because there was so much stuff happening during that time. And I'll give you guys five seconds. Go back right now, starting now. Okay, that's it then. Spoilers, spoilers abound. And right now, Nick is not joining me for this episode because he is busy, unfortunately. So I had another one of my friends to fill in his spot for this continued misadventure of Pokemon Red after 20 years of me not playing this game. And ladies and gentlemen, he is the Smogon King. Or the breeding guru. He's got many names, but he but he is known simply as Guardy. Hello, everybody. I I actually revisited uh, revisit this game quite often. It's probably only been like a year since I played through this game, so I'm actually quite excited to to see what happens. For me, it's been oh, I don't remember the last time I played Pokemon Red. It was like. Actually, 20 years, really. I am a goddamn fossil, but... <laughs> well, I mean, I played it when it during its original release, too. I was, you know, I'm older than you are, but I love going back to Gen 1. It's probably my favorite generation to go back to, aside from Gen 3. Well, I guess, yeah, because there's so many shenanigans with Gen 1, but at the same time, it's just so... It just it just brings back memories. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that can be said for a lot of people who like games like um, who played Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, you know, all, all those kind of, kind of games. Exactly. Super Mario 64. But anyways, that's <laughs> yeah. neither here nor there. Exactly. Right? So before we go ahead and continue this episode, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick team recap. So as I said before. I hope you've seen the last episode because you're going to be in for a surprise. First off, <clears throat> we have Avion, the Pidgeotto. Look at that fat bird. It is level 30 with an attack of 49, defense of 49, speed of 54, and a special of 39. With fly, sand attack, quick attack, and razor wind. And next up, we have Nick's favorite, the king. The Needle King. Uh, and it's got an attack of 73, defense of 62, speed of 69, and a special of 54. This thing is a goddamn truck. And it's got Water Gun, Thrash, Horn Attack, and Horn Drill. Which, by the way, I nailed Horn Drill on a coughing. It was hilarious. I saw that. <laughs> and next up we have... Lilymon, the Vile Plume, she is not a Digimon, but she does have an attack of 57, defense of 58, speed of 36, and a special of 62. She is slow as molasses, but we love her. And she's got Mega Drain, Cut, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder. I believe Giga Drain is not in Gen 1. It's not. So Mega Drain is the best that we got. Yep. And next up we have... Sanic, the Jolteon. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> and it's got an attack of 48, defense 48, speed of 85, and a special of 69. Not really bad stats all around. It's a fast-ass hedgehog over here. Hedgehog slash... Puppy slash... I, I don't, <laughs> don't freaking know what this thing is. And it's got tackle, sand attack... Thunderbolt and Quick Attack. So I'm trying to think of what else we can give to Jolteon to make it more of a more of a powerhouse. Maybe Pin Missile? 
Uh, yeah, usually Pin Missile is on there, uh, especially in Gen 1 with Psychic types being such a huge threat. What TM, Thunder... what TM is Pin Missile? Pin Missile? No, it learns it via level up. Oh, when do I get that? I don't know when you get it. I'm pretty sh certain that it's actually kind of late. Like, I want to say like 40 something. Ooh, okay. Kind of late for such a such an eh move, and really Jolteon's the only good user of Pin Missile. But I mean, it, it's all right, especially when Psychic types are so weak defensively in this game, except for like Slowbro. Yeah, and considering that Jolteon has a pretty decent special. Actually, no, it's physical. No, I, it's well, I mean, it's physical. it's got it's got decent of both in this game. Because, I mean, the only physical attack you're going to use is Pin Missile, and Slowbro doesn't want to stay in on a Jolteon anyway. True. And next up we have Rathalos, the Charmeleon, and you'll know why I call him Rathalos when he becomes a Charizard. Because, you know, he can look like a he can look like a, a creature from Monster Hunter, right? Right. Anyways, we got an attack of 50, defense of 48, speed of 69, and a special of 55. Not exactly the biggest powerhouse right now. He was sort of a powerhouse when he became a Charmeleon at first, but later on he's just kind of, you know, getting left behind. But once he becomes Charizard and gets Flamethrower and Fire Blast, then he'll start putting in the work. Not to mention Slash. <clears throat> oh yeah, Slash. Crits for days. And it's got Scratch, Mega Punch, Ember, and Leer. So rocking with the same move said that it's been rocking since the Cerulean City. <laughs> yeah, I mean if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and finally, we have Belladonna the Mew, which we cut through a <laughs> which we cut through um, a glitch in the game. But we caught it on a, a route where we did not catch Pokemon at all. So this is our encounter for the route uh, to the west of Lavender Town. It is level 7. It's got everything at, at uh, 19. Pretty much everything, 19. And it's got Pound. It's yep. level 7, but goddamn, this thing will be a powerhouse once we can level it up more. Just level it up, yep. Mm-hmm. Now my question is, would it be fair for me to use uh, Mew? I mean, its its stats are balanced out. I mean, technically it is an Uber, but uh, I don't know. That's it's slower than things like Alakazam, and it's not as tanky as like Slowbro. So I would. I think I think the real trouble with Mew is that is its balanced stats. It, it can well that and if it if it's up against something something like well I guess an Uber's play like Mewtwo or even like Slowbro or Snorlax where it could it could potentially lose. It's got Transform, so it could potentially have that ace up its sleeve. Yeah. And at the same time, what better psychic types are out there that I can possibly get? I can't get Alakazam. Right. I mean, like, off the top of my head, Starmie, Slow Starmie and Slowbro are probably your best choices. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Starmie, how'd I forget that awesome Pokemon? I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. For now, we're gonna keep it in play. And with that being said now, let's go ahead and continue. And now I believe the next next stop that we have is is a uh, is our rival. But for now I kind of want to do some training real quick for uh, Belladonna. And no, I'm not going to have it battle. I'm just going to have it switch train. Right. See. I mean, it's all I got pound right now, so. Yeah, but once we can find some more awesome TMs, it can become really good. Oh, uh, speaking of TMs, did you get the TMs from the uh, 
from the thirsty girl up in uh, I did not I should do that Dick Mart, yeah I thought of that and I think and I was almost sure that you completely passed them up Wait, what? How am I walking? I'll just fly there. What the fuck is wrong with cause, me? Because all three, because all three of those TMs are really useful. Uh, they're Ice Beam, Rock Slide, and Tri Attack. I mean, Tri Attack is questionable, but it is it is a relatively strong uh, normal type attack. It's it's definitely the least useful, but you know what? I'm hoping that we could get and. Uh... There's so many Pokemon I could potentially get in uh, in the um, what you call it Safari Zone. Safari Zone, yeah, that's it. There's I could potentially get a Neat Arena. Is that right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then right. there's I can't remember which which uh, one? Oh yeah, you're on red version, so the Nid Arena chances are a lot less common, or a lot less. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nid uh, Nid Arena male is a lot more common in uh, red version, and it's the opposite in blue version. So, I mean, you're probably not going to find a Nid uh, Nid Arena female or a Nid Arena, but you could. There's Ice Beam. TM13, Ice Beam! Okay, who do I teach that to? Well, you could give it to Nidoking, or obviously Mew. Oh yeah, because that's special. Can Lapras learn Ice Beam by itself? Can Lapras learn Ice Beam by itself? I'm almost positive it can. I'll, I'm hold, on. Sure. I'll hold on to Ice Beam just in case. I'm pretty sure it can even learn Blizzard. Oh yeah, Blizzard much better. Remember, Blizzard in uh, Gen 1 has an accuracy of 90. Rock Slide! There's a Rock Slide. Dude! What's this last one you're gonna give me? TM49! Try Attack! Dude, these are great ones! Yep. Let's see. Uh, I already know what I want to put Rock Slide on. I kind of have a feeling. The King. Of course. <laughs> yup. Honestly, it makes sense. Wait. Uh, I think he got rid of Water Gun. No! <laughs> That's why you don't mash the egg button. <laughs> you can teach it Surf later on. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's not a big deal. You could just teach it surf later on. Just don't mash the A button and have it forget rock slide when you do. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely That's don't ice want beam. that. That's ice beam and this is tri attack. It's tri attack. Oh, what could I teach that to? Not many Pokemon can learn tri attack. That's Mew. Mew? Mew, uh, Dodrio, Dugtrio. Um, I have a Doug Trio, but I have the King, who's pretty much Magneton, a better. Magneton, Clefable. I'm pretty sure Wigglytuff. I know Chansey can probably learn it, but you know, that horrible attack stat. Not yeah, not many Pokemon can actually learn Tri Attack. It's not, it's not very. Just in case I get a Dodrio. Yeah, Dodrio would probably be your best bet. All right, so that's it now. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I know I have to go to the go to the Pokemon Tower. Did you get the Slip Scope already, or are you gonna do the? Uh... I already did the Rocket Event. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Giovanni was kind of a pushover. Except for that Kangaskhan who lived from three thrashes. Ouch. But thankfully, the King. Held on. And now it's got a powerful rock slide. Honestly, I think I'm ready for the rival battle. I just have to hope that none of them know Pursuit. Oh wait, Pursuit's not in Gen 1. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, never mind. 
What the fuck am I worried then? I'll just go ahead and fight the rival. <laughs> Already we're off to a great start, folks. I messed up and lost our only water coverage move. Or, yeah, rock coverage, should I say. Rock ground coverage. Okay, so let me just heal real quick, because I don't know if I did. Ah, <sighs> okay. What is one of your favorite things about Gen 1? Oh, like, uh, give me, give me, give me like a, a top five. Top five? Well, let's see. Number five would have to be probably. Well, see, I I love Articuno. The music. So, <laughs> well, no, the music's higher up. Music's higher up. So number five, um, I love Articuno, and I love just how I can pretty much just spam Blizzard with Articuno. So num and, and plus, this kind of screwed over some of my favorite Pokemon, Tauros included. So number five, I actually really like the combined special stat <laughs> in Gen 1, going back and having it having some of my favorite Pokemon, like Tauros and Articuno, being just, like, stupidly strong. Uh, number four would have to be... Oh, ho hold on to that thought for a second. Alrighty. We're about to fight the rival. You, got, you, got, you guys know what that means. Make sure you save the game before anything crazy happens. Hi there, buddy! And it's time for your favorite voice, guys. Bandit Keith. Oh, it's been a while. How do I do his voice? Um... Hey, Kevin! What brings you here? In America! Your Pokemon don't look dead! Wow, what an asshole! I can at least make them faint! Let's go, pal! Wow, th this guy is a- this guy's a dick! He's threatening to kill my Pokemon! <laughs> There's Pidgeotto! Hey, Belladonna! Now say goodbye, Belladonna! Sand attack. Rock slide. <laughs> Look at that animation. I know. I love Rock Slide's animation. Damn. Look at that. And Belladon's about to... Wait. She just went up two levels. Yep. Went up two levels. Ooh. A Growlithe? Ooh. All right. How do I want to do this? Um... Think. I don't have anything really super effective against against it besides the king. Rock slide. You missed. I could just go for a horn attack and just kill it. It's only level twenty three. I would probably just use horn attack. Yeah. Hit it with a big ass horn. What if I just use horn drill just for the laugh? <laughs> Execute, okay. This is a problem. Rathalos, come on out and say hello. Look at that big ass egg. I know. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Are you done? Now how about some sunny side up? Kadabra. Okay, this is the problem. It's only level 20. Yeah, and I do need Rathalos leveled up more. Question is, should I go for the physical stab, or the physical, not the physical stab, the physical attack, or go for stab? Uh, Kadabra's 
Well, like I just said there, the, the special stats are combined here, so Cadaver actually has pretty decent special defense. So I think I'll just go for the Mega Punch. Mm -hmm. That's... The, punch it in the mustache! That'll knock it out, for sure. Oh, <laughs> it was a crit! Yeah. Alright, War Turtle, you're out of here. And War Turtle. Come on, Lilymon! Yeah. I don't have no ice moves yet. Alright, make a drain. Oh, don't oh, you dare. Nice. It might... Nope. No flinch. I was about to say, if he's going to be doing doing that shenanigans, I'm going to put a stun spore on it. Yep, he's going for the bite shenanigans. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, now let me drain your soul. There you go, Lilymon. Now you did it. Kevin defeated Keith. <coughs> what? You stinker. I took it easy on you, too, because you're a Canadian. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Q-Bone. Oh, yeah? Well, I just caught a Mew. Your argument is invalid. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Ha 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 ha! away all awkwardly. Alright, everyone's in pretty good shape. Alright, so let's see. Hi there. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A self scope freaking bug. <laughs> <laughs> a self scope may be able to I may be able to unmask them. Now is there any hidden items that I can remember in this place? Tell me your secrets, Graves. Give me a give me a master ball, maybe a nugget. I can't remember any hidden items here. Oh <gasps> Ghastly. Ghastly's our first encounter! Oh, wait. Do they have repels in this game? Yeah. Oh. Well, we do need a ghost type anyways. So. Well, we've only got one choice. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, let's see. How do I want to do this? You know what? I'll go with Avion. Since Avion can't be hurt at all by ghost type moves. Oh yeah. Nightshade. Back in, Gen, back in Gen 1, Nightshade did affect normal types. Well then. This is awkward. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if it's worth getting a ghastly now. I don't even know how you're going to how you're going to drain its HP. Uh I got fly. Fly will just knock it out. <laughs> it's a ghastly. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, do I really want to risk this bird for for a ghastly that won't become a Gengar? Yeah. I guess it's on you. Oh, well, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll try go for it, going for the raw catch. Let's see, do I have any great balls? I have great balls. Okay. Gasly, please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Yes. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yes. All right, Gasly is caught. That heart attack was avoided. <laughs> Ghastly. The gas Pokemon. It's it's four foot three. How is it that big? I remember in the anime, it doesn't even look that tall. I know it, it's like super big in the Pokédex. Almost invisible, this gaseous Pokemon cloaks the target and puts it to sleep without notice. Hmm. 
A name for a ghost type. Ooh, for a ghastly. I want to call it... I feel like I, I probably might go with the obvious, call it Casper. But then again, Casper is a friendly ghost, and this thing is not friendly. This thing ain't friendly at all. I could no. call it Slimer, but then it reminds me of the new Ghostbusters movie and how terrible it's going to be. <laughs> um, you know what? How about... Why don't you name it? Well, I have a great name for a Gengar, but, you know, can not evolve into a Gengar. Hmm. Could, could call it Ray Charles. Cause, he, cause, cause he's got them hands. I'm trying to think, like, okay, uh, this this is from now. Now this is assuming that you would use it and evolves into a haunter. Um, there's there's a manga that I read when I was when I was younger called The Electric Tale of Pikachu. All right. Oh. One one of them. Uh, circulated around this giant haunter called the Black Fog. So that's my nickname. The Black Fog. Nice. Black Fog. Yeah. Can I fit this? Well, I don't... I, I wouldn't... Probably wouldn't call it the Black Fog. It probably wouldn't. The, I, I know back in Gen 1, that definitely wouldn't fit. The Black Fog. Black Fog was Grant's <laughs> Vertibills BC. That's hilarious. I like that name. Alright, so I got plenty of, you know, medication for cases like this. Hello, old lady. Oh my god. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, that's how I picture it or something like that. Oh yeah, I was talking about my five favorite things that I, uh, as far as Gen 1 goes. Um, mm -hmm. I already said number five, which is the, uh, the combined special set. I actually, still, I actually quite enjoy going back to that. Um, number four, as, as as infamous as they are, I really enjoy some of the sprites in Gen One. Like 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 right here, we're, we're looking at we're looking at one of my favorites right now, the ghastly ghastly sprite back for uh, red and blue. I love love that sprite, and Haunters is probably one of the absolute best. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, yeah, <laughs> confusion. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> the prediction. <laughs> no, completely random. Oh my god! Come on. Oh, there you go. You get free turn. Come on! Oh my god! This is gonna be a thing. Yeah, it is. Okay, switching again. I would probably just use a super potion. I can't use any healing items. I made that a rule for my Nuzlocke during battle. Oh. Hey, then. Thank you! There you go. He'll definitely be faster. Thank you for not missing. <laughs> um Let's see what what else? Alright, Belladonna's level ten now. Holy fuck. Trans now it's got transform. There's the transform. <laughs> okay, now I gotta back off. Alright, Rathalos, come out. No switch training for you, I'm sorry. Oh my god, oh. Gasly, get away from me. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Awfully <laughs> ghastly. <laughs> oh my yeah, I just wanna leave. Stop haunting me. You ever just look at you ever just look at a ghastly face and just thought, what if? You, you, you hear that? You just, just get out of my fucking face. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Oh, wait. I don't have Doug Trio anymore, so I can't dig out of here. Oh, oh my god. Okay, this is going to be a thing. So I'm going to heal up real quick. Oh, my god. All right. <laughs> Since... I can use healing items in battle. I have to be very careful about how I do this. This will be entertaining. Yeah, I know that you'll be entertained. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> um, now I'm wondering if it's even worth trying to switch train Mew right now. Probably not. You should do that later. Maybe off screen. <laughs> yeah, off screen, maybe. We'll get you there, Mew. We'll get you there, Belladonna. Even though you weren't there for Yang. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so keep going, number three. Well, well, I, I, I'm, I, I definitely agree with you on that point, though. Uh, <laughs> number three. This is a tough one because I, I know what my number two and my number one are. But. Um, oh, actually, where's my repels? There we go. Repels, get the fuck away from me. Okay, well in that case, number three would have to be the glitches. <laughs> I love, I love going back and messing with the glitches in the game. I, I know they, I know they really screw up, um, like competitive play in the game and make some, like, like modern day strats like completely unusable. But uh, like, like freaking Missy No, and. Mm -hmm. the, uh, toxic leech seed stacking stuff, and all all that fun stuff. It's just, it's it's fun to go back and mess mess around with that. Uh, number two would have to be the music. Mm hmm. Like the uh, Pokemon but, Tower, Lavender Town. Yes, I, I'm I'm a sucker for eight bit uh, music, and I think Pokemon uh, Pokemon Generation One was an excellent start to what has become notoriously good uh, series for music. Number one would have to be would have to be Blue. I don't think they've ever been able to recreate the the rival scene, the uh, the, the, the rivalry? The, yeah, the relationship you have with your uh, rival. With the exception, they almost did it with Silver. Silver was um, was a very good attempt at recreating the asshole that is Blue or Gary, if you want to use the anime name. But really, my all-time favorite uh, rival has always been Blue. You know, a lot of people will be saying that Blue is actually green. Since oh, in yeah, yeah since uh, in Japan. The rival's name is actually Green. In the yeah, I know, but of, of course we're gonna use the U.S. names here because yeah, <laughs> versions that we have. But I actually did know that. I'm just forgot. I didn't really. That's why I didn't reference that. But yeah, I mean, my number one favorite thing about Gen One is definitely your rival. Mm-hmm. There are very few like him. You know, there's a lot of things that I went over in a previous episode about some of the problems with Gen 1 with Nick. Try to remember, so all moves have a certain percentage uh, chance to miss, and it's they all share the same percentage. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> Beat me not. What are you, a female Yoda? Get out of here! <laughs> the percentage is 1 out of 256, by the way. Yep. So I could potentially miss Thunderbolt for no reason. Yep. 
and since you're doing a nuzlocke, it, it, it would be could be a very critical moment too. By the way. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least you're not speed running. I, that's that's the worst when you miss it in a speed run. Oh yeah. The true RNG. All right, so I kind of want to level up some more for Sanic. But I'm trying to see who else I could level up getting off these, uh, off these easy, easy computers. Maybe Rathalos, because I do want to get a Charizard. Yeah, I mean, as far as evolving goes, the two that you'd want to level up are <laughs> Avion and Rathalos. Yeah, but I don't want to leave Sanic too, too far in the dark. With Lilymon, it's really hard. I just have to do a lot of leveling against water types and rock types. Mm hmm. I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out. But for now, I think, yeah, I want to get some level up with Rathalos. I just hope, I just hope not being able to kill with Ember doesn't bite me in the ass. Let's see. Ghastly. Alright, burn it. Oh, oh, it did. Oh, the burn! It, it did burn it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, too bad that doesn't affect Nightshade. No. Go Rathalos! Stop trying to confuse me! I'm already dazed and confused! Alright, it's in 3 hit KO range now! <laughs> Stop it! You're killing yourself! Stop it! There it goes. Where is the ghost? I don't know. Alright, uh, I'm kind of not liking that three-hit KO kind of thing, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's a three-hit KO, that's not good. <laughs> but I will try again with... Oh, HP up. Ooh, I, could yeah. save, I could save that for... Oh, I could save that for Lapras. <clears throat> Since that's its greatest asset, it's fucking fat-ass HP. Oh, is that a healing spot? Yes, it is. Oh, let me get to it! Just in time. <laughs> get away from me. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, now you can fight all... Yeah. Come, <laughs> child. I seal the space with white magic. You can rest here. And I totally will not be... Be thinking about the whole thing. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could level up Rathalos without fear. I don't know. I'll do that in a montage or something like that. Hi there. You shall join us. I mean, do we have cookies? Certainly not creepy or anything. <laughs> I mean, I might, if you have cookies. Oh, and I like how it restores your PP, too. Yep. It's basically a Pokemon Center. Oh! <laughs> if only you were paralyzed right there. Would have been perfect. <laughs> there we go. And hey! level 29! Fun! <laughs> Although I guess Ghastlies don't really give off a lot of XP. No, they don't. I'm pretty sure that woman over there has a Haunter, though. Ooh, should I go for her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's not like super high level or anything, so... Hello, oh. lady! Give me your soul! What are you, <laughs> M. Bison's wife? Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there it is. There's a the haunt. Look, that look at that freaking, sprite. <laughs> that sprite. <laughs> Love it. Shock it. Shock it, Sanic. Yeah, see it. <laughs> Watch it. Oh no. It's like Mr. Grab Mr. Grab hands like like look at that shit. Like Ray Charles over here. <laughs> it's easily one of my favorite Gen 1 sprites. All that EXP too. Mm -hmm. And that money? The money too, yeah. Uh, you know what, I think this might be as good as time as any to stop. Because I don't want to try and make too long an episode, so we'll continue through this for the Pokemon Tower next time on Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. I'm Alex. And I'm Gardy. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.